right, let me have you stop right there, crew. This is Foreman Cialino, and here we are. Today we are going to be reviewing area. The past two days we were reviewing perimeter. Remember, perimeter measures the outside. So we are able to build our walls. We've got no problem with that. We're ready to go. We are going to be working on our area today, which means we're going to be measuring the inside, counting the squares on the inside. So we could use area in our house for if we want to lay carpeting or we want to lay tile. How much do I have to buy? I want to make sure I have enough. I don't want too much and I don't want too little. I want just the right amount. So we have to remember how to solve area. Remember, to find the area, you multiply your sides. You multiply your length times your width to get you your area. Area measures in square units, squares, because we're counting the squares. So some of your problems are going to have to find the area. Some of your problems you have to find which one has the greatest or which one has less. Some of the problems like this one here, it gives you the area and it gives you the length of one side, but your job is to find out the length of the other side. So if you notice, my rectangle here is 20 square units. The length of this side here is two, so I have to find out what is the length of this side. So remember area, you multiply your sides. So it'd be two times question mark equals 20. If I count it by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, that would be 10. 10 units is the other side. So my answer would be 10 units because 10 times two equals 20. All right, you have five problems. You may now go ahead and proceed.